Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm not on camera today. Um, only because I want you to focus on this DIY that I'm doing. Just came in from the store. I'm trying to do my last part that I need for the breakfast bar. And I had a couple ideas. And, well, the one idea I did have was this. I got a pack of these from Michael's. They came to like $3 and 40 something cent or $3 and after tax, they came to $3 and 40 something cent. They were $7.99. And I got 60, I used a 60% off coupon. It runs out today. If you guys are local to Michael's, pull it up on your phone, 60% off coupon, and it, it expires today. You can get 60% off any regular price item. So I got the pack of round, these are candles, right? And um, I got these, and you get nine in a pack. They're $7.99, but like I said, I used that coupon. So I got those. But first, I had went to Dollar Tree, and I got these, right? And um, so I was gonna work with that first because I was originally looking for the round, but I couldn't find them. So I, then I got these, right? And I said, you know what? I'm going I'm trying to just fix up a um, candelabra. I'm trying to just dress up a candelabra. So when I came in, I put one over there on it and it worked perfect. So I am gonna use this. So I'm going to just doll up the candle so I don't have just this looking thing. Or, like, see that? I don't, I don't even like that, like, now I'm, that I'm looking at it. This is what I was looking at, right? Let me take the plastic off so I can show you. And um, if I can get the plastic off of this thing. Yeah, so I'm just looking to, to uh, fix it up some so I can have to tape that video tonight. So can I even get this plastic off, y'all? This one's a mess. Dollar Tree don't want nobody getting into their candles. I'll tell you that. But yeah, I um, I wanted to get this done so I could get that videotape. Tomorrow will be the video. All right, see, I can hold it by the thing like this after I do it, right? And, I'm, and now I'm really thinking I might go with this for that, you see? But it'll look a little different when you see it. Now, what we're gonna do I got these, and I was thinking of putting a little bit of silver glitter at the bottom, you know, just like kind of haphazardly, just to give it a little sparkle, but I'm not sure. We'll hold off on that. These are going to be snowballs for some reason, but they ain't going to be snowballs for this table. I take for the uh, breakfast more. I'm going to use these. Now, I need five, five of these and five of these, but I'm going to show you with this how I was doing. Um, I got this glitter here. I picked this up from Michael's today. A little more silver. But I had this because I had mixed some other stuff in with this. So I went on ahead and got the this one. I want to say this was $2.99 at Michael's. And um, that's all. Oh, and I got this for $0.99. Cent. I needed a, another brush. But, you know, of course, these are a Dollar Tree for a dollar. And I got five candles and five of these globes. So I'm going to show you all with the candles Here's some paint I got here. I mean, not paint. What is this? Mod Podge. Got these from Dollar Tree, too. Um, I got a bunch of them around here. So, I'm going to take the Mod Podge. I took the plastic off of the candle, right? You don't even have to remove the bottom. You don't have to because you're not going to be using that. I mean, nobody, you know. I'm going to hold it by this carefully, by the um, wick. And I'm going to just put um, Mod Podge. Now, you could go halfway up if you want to. Or, um, you know... However you want to do your candle. I'm trying to make mine look real snowy. So I'm kind of taking it almost to the top. Just about to the top. And I'm trying to make it look real snowy. For the uh, DIY. So I'm putting it on. If you, As you could see. This Mod Podge. Some of it had some glitter in it. I'm going to take the silver. Can I get into this one? Oh, here's a little plastic thing that's in here. There you go. I'm gonna take this silver, all silver here, and it's it's um, it's not thick and chunky glitter. Can I even get in, y'all? This is why didn't I have this ready? I use this one. Okay, now I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna put some of the silver on here, right? And you can leave it like this if you want to. It's cute. If I was going to do it all silver, I'd probably do it a little heavier. But I'm going to put some of the snow on it. So 
See, that even looks cute, right? Just dolled up the uh, the candle. So I'm gonna let that sit for a second. I'm gonna grab another one. And then I'm gonna show you how I, wait, let me show you this one. Is this the one that's broke? Okay. Then remember these I got from Big Lots. I'm not gonna use these, but I wanted to show you. Ooh, sugar. I got rid, look at, you see what I did, y'all? <laughs> grab the darn candle. Let me do it where I grabbed. I could kick myself. Got ready to pick it up to move it and grabbed it the wrong way. Okay. Let me put that back. And I'm using this uh, piece of paper right here so I can pick the glitter back up and I'm not wasting. I told you, that's how I do it. Well, most people I know do that and don't nobody throw away all that glitter. So I gotta let this dry about 15 minutes or so, but I'm not gonna let it go that far. I'm gonna let it until I finish this one. Now, I'm gonna be using a different glitter. So I'm gonna throw this down so it can catch the glitter. So I can pick it back up on this one. This right here, it has a little bit of a um, glitter right there. And here is the, the little thing, but I don't have to because I'm only gonna do that part with the, you know what I mean, cover that part. You see the little texture they got in there? It's a little bit of glitter. Okay, now this is how I do them other ones. I'm gonna put the um, Mod Podge on. And then this stuff here, I got from the 99 cent store. This glitter that comes in this uh, bag, it's not bad for 99 cent. Yeah, I'm trying to get this table done. I can't wait for it to be done. So I can tape it and get it over with. You wanna make sure you get all the way around because it'll catch that glitter. And the glitter comes in this bag like this. You get a bunch of it. And then see, I'm just gonna, and it looks like snowflakes all over it. Look at that. Okay. That's all that is. And this costs 99 cents for the bag. Look at that. And now it'll stand up and it'll look like, when I put it into the candle holder, the bottom half of it will look like um, it has snow all over it. It's so pretty. But I'm not going to use these. I'm not going to use these. I'm going to use the these here. So, let me get a little bit more glitter on this. And then I'm going to put the snow on these too. This is an easy DIY. See, underneath that silver, you'll be able to see where I'm putting the uh, snow on top of it too. And then when I do it, I'll just put, let me put them down here. It's a little. So I got my glue on there all over it, right? Let me get some on that bottom part. I got my glue all over it, see? And now I'm going to pick up this snow and I'm going to go just like this. And it'll have the silver because this is like translucent when it dries. So it'll have that silver underneath as a little color. Shake it off. Did I get it all? Yep. And then this is what it's going to look like. Put it in here real careful. You see? So that looks better than that. After it dries, right now you'll, you're seeing some milkiness from the um, paint. But after it dries, you'll see that it looks a little frosted. You know, it look, gives it a little more um, designer, I guess, look. And um, that's what I was going for. Something snowy. Because, you know, the winter wonderland is my theme. And when you see the candelabra set up with that, you'll see what I'm talking about. I fell in love with it. I did these yesterday. I'm not liking, do you see how this, the green comes through too much in this gold? I'm going to try to wash this off. I only did one coat so far, but yeah, gold, these, I did these silver a couple years ago. They came out gorgeous, but the gold will not do it. No, because there's too much of a greenish blue in there and it looks so antique gold. I just don't like that. That's not my color. So I'm going to try to wash them off. If not, I'll just, you know, put the other coat on and whatever. But yeah, all I did, guys, I lay these down outside, spray with the mirror effect spray paint, this. And you get your plates. And then you put them in, if you're, if you're happy with the way it turns out, you put them in the oven at like 200, 250. And, but you put them in the cold oven. You just lay them on the racks or you can put them on a cookie sheet. And then you turn the oven on to like 250, let it go about two, three hours, turn it off 
Do not pull these plates out. Try to just, if you do it at night, sleep on it after, you know, let them cool down overnight and then pull it out. Don't take them out while they're hot. And then it sets the paint on here. That's as easy as it is. It's nothing else. It's nothing but I turn it over, just a glass plate, spray it, let it dry. Don't put it in the oven wet. Let it dry. And then after it dries, it, it should cure in about three, four hours. And then you might need to do a second coat though. So check it about 30 minutes. I know I could look, put it up to the light and I could see through some spots. So I need a second coat on these. And then you, after you do the second coat, let it dry for a couple hours, put it in the oven, turn the oven on. Like I said, let it go to about two hours, turn the oven off, let it sit. And not a high temperature, only no more than 250-ish, nothing more than 250. And then you get permanent glass, um, paint pl uh, plates you know like a metallic they could be any color you want it don't even have to be metallic it could be any color these could be turquoise if you want them to be and um yeah you'll have good plates that whole set i know a couple people i had said i was going to show but you know it's like i've done it so many times that it just gets to be repetitive okay now on this other ball i'm gonna show you what i was going to do with this this is i guess diy candle making the day now, I'm going to just take it right down. I'm not going to go to the extreme bottom, but I'm taking it down to where you would see the cat, where the bottom of the candle is with Mod Podge, you see. I'm just going down and making sure I get all the way around the candle, right? And then I'm going to put it in the snow. I'm going to just pour this. Oops. Oh, watch this. And it looks like a pretty glistening snowball. Look at that. You see that? And you could put this wherever you want. A little old snowball. So, and like I said, these, it's just that these were a little small for what I was looking for. If they were bigger, this would be on my uh, tablescape. My, it's not a tablescape because I'm doing a breakfast bar for this video. But, um, table setting. But I did stay with the Winter Wonderland theme. So, I hope you guys enjoy that video tomorrow. Please tune in and check it out. I'm proud of it, you know. And I, when I say I'm proud of it, I mean, I know that sounds crazy. But I love the fact that I did, I started out not really trying. I'm not even on the camera and I'm talking to y'all. But, excuse me. Because by the time I move this camera, I'll mess it up. But, um, I, you know... Wanted to do just a little bit, like a not over the top with Christmas this year. And I did it very fine pieces, but it really stands out in the places that I did it. And you guys will see that by Saturday, um, the tour is coming. Sa not by Saturday, either Friday or Saturday, um, the tour will be up. Um, because I'm just about done. I just have to do a couple videos that I need to put out first. Like the breakfast bar video needs to go out. And then I might do um, the coffee table as a decorate with me with you guys and then the, the whole tour is going to go up so i will talk to you guys later thank you so much for joining me this is day four day four vlogmas i'm doing it y'all now we're supposed to i was going to do a live tonight but because i have to get ready for this uh tape to film this video before the sun goes down i'm wondering if i should do it tomorrow if we should all hop on it's thursday night maybe we should hop on tomorrow and do the live because I'll have more time and I won't be so rushed with doing what I'm doing tonight. I can get a lot more done. The tree is just about finished. It's um, Really, it could be finished, but I know me. I'm going to do a little more finishing touches by Friday, Saturday. But yeah, okay, I'm going to talk to you guys later. Thanks a lot for all you new people. Guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments, and come back tomorrow for some good stuff. Tomorrow will be that Glam Out YouTube. For, and that, that's going to be the breakfast bar. Plus, I'll probably have another little something for you guys. I'm doing something different tomorrow. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.